is Jenna Mahalson, and I'm a junior at West Mifflin Area High School, and I'm interviewing Siobhan Vivian. She lives in Pittsburgh, and this is her. she has written four novels, and I'm interviewing her on the latest one called The List. Yep. Okay. What inspired you to write a book like The List? Well, the idea for The List came up um, after I read an article in a newspaper about a high school in New Jersey that had a similar tradition um, that happens in The List. Uh, the premise of The List is that every year at a high school, somebody makes a list naming the prettiest and the ugliest girl in each grade. And there was actually a high school in New Jersey that kind of ran a similar tradition. So um, I heard about that and I thought that would make a great idea for a story. Have you ever personally met anyone as radical and determined as Sarah? <laughs> Sarah is a little bit of me, actually. Um, Sarah is a girl in the um, in this book, The List, and she shows up. Um, she's put on the list as the ugliest junior, and uh, she has a very sort of rebellious reaction to being put on the list. And I would say, yeah, she's based a little bit off of me and a couple people I know. But I think, um, you know. There are probably Sarahs all over the all over the country um, who would have like a similar reaction of wanting to protest, sort of being being objectified and being told that they're ugly. If you were to pick one of the eight girls, which one would you say is most like you, and why? Hmm. I think I would say Sarah actually. Um, because uh, when I was in high school, um, I was sort of on the different side. You know, there was like the typical popular girls, and then there were the sort of more alternative girls who sort of didn't subscribe to the philosophies of like what was pretty, what was cool that, that the majority of the people in high school did. And I would put myself in that category. And I think part of it was that I really didn't find um, those girls and what they were doing to be that interesting, but it also was a little bit of a defensive mechanism for me where I, you know, I didn't think I measured up to those girls either, and so I just kind of pushed myself into a different category altogether. What character do you think readers will relate to most? I don't know. What character do you think they would relate to most? Um... I would say probably maybe Abby. Yeah, I think so. Because she's sort of like Abby is the prettiest freshman um, in the book, and she's, you know. Doesn't really know how to act. Doesn't really know how to act. She's kind of like confident in some areas of her life, but not confident in other areas mm -hmm. of her life. I think she's kind of like a typical girl, maybe more so yeah. than the others. I'd say Abby. What character do you think grew up and matured the most by the end of the book? Oh, man. I sort of hope Bridget. Mm -hmm. Bridget is the prettiest. Oh, no. You know who? Candace. Yeah. I would say Candace. Candace is the ugliest sophomore in the book, and she really does learn some big lessons over the course of the story where she's sort of a mean girl and... Um, kind of rules the roost of her friends, and they sort of seize this opportunity to put her in her place. And I think she does learn a lot about friendship yeah. and stuff. I think I could see her sort of maturing the most. Yeah, I agree. Have you ever heard of a real high school having something like the list, which is kind of what you said? It is, but, you know, I keep hearing more and more from girls who read the books that say, like, you know, maybe not that kind of list, but, like, a yeah. list of, like, the hottest girls or the girls who are easy to, like get with, you know, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of like weird rating systems that I think are going on in high schools today. So I think there's a lot of kind of relatable story content in there um, in that regard. How do you think you would have reacted if you were put on the list either as prettiest or Oh least? my gosh. <laughs> well, I guess I'd be flattered if I were prettiest, though I probably wouldn't believe it. Yeah. And if I was put ugliest, I probably would believe it, as sad as that is to say, mm -hmm. you know? There's mm -hmm. just something about, like, I don't feel like girls can really take compliments. They can take the negative stuff, but the compliments just, for whatever reason, don't seem to register. So 
I'd probably be devastated and I'd probably think that there really was a grain of truth to it if I was put on the ugliest list, as sad as that is to say. Which sister relationship is more healthy, in your opinion? Bridget's and Lisa's or Abby and Fern's and why? Oh, that's a good one. Ah. I think they're both kind of healthy in their own way. I mean, with um, Bridget, a character named Bridget, who's uh, the prettiest junior um, and her younger sister, uh, I think like they they get along really well because they're also they're not afraid to confront each other when mm-hmm. sort of stuff is is going bad. Um, and I think. With the other two characters, um, Abby and Fern, you know, there's I think there's a little bit more hostility towards them than maybe the other two sisters. But at the end of the day, they're as hostile as they are, and as much as they butt heads, they also still support each other. So I tried to make both of those relationships be really um, solid. You yeah. know. Was it a challenge to write a book with eight main characters and tying it all together? <laughs> it was so hard. It was so hard. Um, yes, the book is about eight different girls, and you follow all eight of them for a week in their lives, and it was so hard because you know, normally a book is first person, and you follow one character, and that's hard enough to get right, as yeah. you know, but like doing it eight times over was yeah. really tough. Uh, but... You know what, I, at my like low points in writing the book, when I would think, I don't know if this is even working, I would start to think about who, who would I cut out of the book, and I couldn't decide. You know, I yeah. liked all of them, so I felt like I really had to make it work and, and keep all eight in the story. It was really difficult, though. Mm-hmm. Did you have a hard time kind of following all yeah, eight was, girls? It was really easy to follow, surprisingly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, at least there's a list in the front that you can kind yeah. of refer back to. That was helpful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, and finally, who is your favorite pair of best friends in the list? I, ooh, my favorite pair of best friends. Um, I, I really like... Um, Shoot. <laughs> you can edit out my deliberations, right? I really like Danielle and her best friend. Um, Danielle is the ugliest freshman, and uh, she has a really supportive best friend who sort of, you know, never once questions the fact that this is just an awful situation, never feels embarrassed that her best friend is on the ugly list um, and just kind of like has her back consistently through the story. And I think, I think their friendship is probably my favorite. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, thank you for, inter- thank you for letting me interview you. You're welcome. <laughs> it was fun. Thank you. Bye. Bye.